Hi guys, today I'm going to show you Metapipe Studio 1.3 update. This update will be in beta for a few days and then you will be able to use full version of 1.3. And I'm giving this code to you for beta test it. And if there is any issue for this version, I can fix it for the next update. For now, it works for me. And by the way, I'm really appreciated who shows their support. And I would be very happy if you can spread this tool to your friends and your connections in social medias so that I can bring you better and faster updates to you. And it would be very great if you can credit Metapipe if you use it in your project. And let's show you what 1.3 does. So before starting it, if you are a new user to Metapipe Studio, probably this video is not for you because you need to know the fundamentals and basics of the tool to use 1.3 features. This is only a quick demonstration of 1.3 update. So let's start. I already uploaded my DNA and I press load DNA. Also, I imported my custom meshes and I will do join transformation. As you can see, the joints transferred successfully. And in this time, if I go to my LOD one, it is not transferred yet. So don't be panic. And you can make your modifications to your custom eyes, custom teeth or custom cartilage, any of the mesh, you can do anything in this time and after you done with everything you can press save dna you can only work for the lod zero because when we save the dna all the information inside the lod zero will be transferred to the lod one to seven automatically so let's show this save dna after saving the DNA, you can now look at your LODs. This is LOD0 and this is for LOD1, LOD2, LOD3. And as you can see, it is all same. So it's not finished yet. We can also transfer our body LOD0 to our lower LODs. So how we can do it? The workflow didn't change you can simply click on the prepare to export and then you can batch import your body file and then the only thing that you should do is build body and it successfully created our body rig it's working as you can see and let's look at the lod this is lod zero and this is lod one this is lod two and this is lod three open all together and as you can see all the volumes are same. Also, when we go to our LOD zero of body mesh, we can see our combined mesh. Let's unhide it and hide our body and our head. And this is our combined mesh and it is working with the rig, as you can see. One last thing for the LODs. Now you don't need to transfer the normals data because Metapipe does it automatically. And as you can see, now there is no scene inside Maya and inside Unreal Engine as well. But also if we check for the LOD, let's say 3 and LOD 6, there is no scene inside here as well. So no more fixing for the body and head scene. But one thing you need to make sure that your export settings should be exactly the same with mine. So this is my FBX export settings and it should be exactly the same with yours. These boxes are checked and this looks like this. For the animation data, you don't need to bake the animation, but you should check all of the default models, skins and blend shapes. And the other parts should look like this. If you do exactly same everything, you will have no issues. And one last thing for the update is you can do all of your modifications, adding clothes, adding extra meshes, extra teeth, eyes in this stage by binding to the skeletons. I'm not showing this, but before exporting your meshes, now you can 
Again, you should delete your LODs one by one to export them separately because if you export them as a single mesh, I guess you cannot separate it inside Unreal Engine. If I'm wrong, just tell me. And you should delete the LODs. Let's delete it. For the body as well, you should delete your LODs. If you want to export it in LOD1, then you should delete your LOD0 and LOD2, LOD3. So at the end, you should have separate FBX files like LOD0 FBX, LOD1 FBX, LOD2 FBX, so on. Let's delete them. I don't use this. And before exporting it, now we can assign automatically random shaders to our head to separate our shaders inside Unreal Engine. So there is a new button called Material Assign and if I click on this one, now we have different materials for different parts. Only you need to do is select all the meshes that you want to assign a different material and then click on Material Assign and you're done. Now we can export it to Unreal Engine. Inside Unreal Engine, everything is same. The import settings and the other things, porting the DNA and all of the stuff are same. You can assign your lower LOD with a single easy step and I will show you. So I didn't export my LODs and I didn't export all of the meshes. So I will show you on a different object. Also, I will demonstrate how we can add a female character as LOD. So let's try it. So let's say this creature character is our LOD0 and as you can see there is only LOD0 and we imported it in here with the same workflow that we did before and let's scroll down and find the LOD settings. Inside LOD settings, LOD import, you should select import LOD level 1 and then it automatically pops up our window and inside it you can choose your LOD1 FPX file and I want to demonstrate it with our female character. I will select head FPX and it loaded so we can go to LOD settings, set LOD0, this is our creature character and for the LOD1 mesh we can see our female character and you can continue your process by adding import LOD level 2 and then it will show up import LOD level 3 and you can add as many as you want. So that's it for this tutorial. Hope you like it and thank you for likes, subscribes, shares. Good luck with your materials and bye.